hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will explain you how you can update the contact ownership with the help of flow in salesforce and we can follow the same steps to update the ownership of any other object records like leads contacts and opportunities and we can also update the ownership of the records like contact with the help of salesforce data loader tool but uh, we can automate this process and automating this process of updating the ownership will save a lot of time so for this automation flow we will create a record trigger flow and before that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content then we will continue to the topic so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early words so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this code you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our so in salesforce record management many times it is required to change the ownership of records and this process can be done manually or with the help of data management tools like data loader but it will be great when this process of updating ownership get automated and we can do it with the help of salesforce flows so in this example we are going to create a record trigger flow that will update the ownership of the contact records according to the conditions that we are going to configure in the record trigger flow and so the process i'm going to explain is based on an example where once i was assigned a task to update the ownership of contact related to a specific account and here i had to update the account ownership and contact ownership to the same user so as a solution for this i created a record triggered flow that will update the contact ownership to the new owner of the account so let's move ahead and see the process how we will create the flow so right now i am in my salesforce developer console and from here i will navigate to the flow setup so for that I go to the quick find box and here search and select flows and under the heading process automation select flows and here is you can see list of flows so to create a new flow click on the button new flow and now we are going to create a record triggered flow so select the option record triggered flow and click on the button create so now we have to configure the trigger condition so in this flow the record will trigger when account object will be updated so i have selected object as account and in the section configure trigger we have to select the trigger condition when the flow will run when the flow will run so i have selected when a record is updated and now i will and now we have to define the entry conditions that this condition will meet to run this flow so so in the field i have selected the field owner id and operator will be is changed and value will be true here select the option actions and related records so now we have configured the trigger conditions and now we are going to add an uh, update record element in the flow so in the data section select the option select the element update records and here enter the label for the update record element and as we enter the label the api name will be autofilled and in the and now under the heading how to find records to update and check their values so for this i have set the condition specify condition to identify record and set fields individually and here we have to select the object so object that we are going to update in this trigger is contact so i will select the object contact and here also we have to define the condition requirements to update the records so here i am going to define the two condition requirement first is that when account id equals to record account id so according to this condition requirement when the account id of the contact is equals to the id of the current account record and the next requirement we are going to add is owner id so in field value we will select the owner id and operator as not equals does not equals that is record owner id 
and according to the second condition when the owner id of the contact record is not equals to the owner id of current record and the second require and the second condition requirement to update the record is when the owner id of uh, contact record is not equal to owner id of current records and in the set field values for the contact records we have to select the field that we are going to update so we are going to update the owner id so i will select here that is the text field and in the value we will again select the record owner id so now we have defined the update record element and after this we will save the flow so for that click on the save button and here enter the relevant flow label and in the flow api name will be auto field as we click on it and after this click on the save button so now our flow is completed to update the ownership of contacts and after this we will test and debug the flow so for that click on this debug button that is at the top in the flow builder so in the debug window we will first select the condition as run immediate and here you have to select the checkbox skip start condition requirements and in the account field we have to select the account so for example i am selecting the account burlington and it is having some contacts in it so i will select this account and after this i will click on the run button so as you can see the flow is completed and it is running fine and we do not get any error let me show you how the interview finished so now in the flow results we can see the contact the owner id is updated successfully that means uh, when we update a contact id it will also update the id of the account it will also update the id of the parent account and let me show you the same thing in this developer console so first we have to activate this flow so that it will run in the developer console so i will go back to the edit window of the flow builder and here i will click on the activate button to activate this flow and after activating this i will navigate to the account tab so for that i will here i will go to the app launcher and from here go to account tab and in the account tab i will open account and in contacts i will open a contact record and here i will change the owner of this contact and after selecting the new owner click on the button change owner and now we will go back to the parent account of this contact and here we can see the ownership of account is also changed according to the ownership of the contact record so this is how we can update the contact ownership this is like child to parent ownership update and you can use the same procedure to update the ownership of other child to parent records and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye